Yeah, I don't think this is a team that really wants to fight. This is kind of like a lot of split focus. And H2K, speaking of focus, they just know exactly what they want. Venga and Leona just jump right into the enemy team, engage them while they're only four members standing around, and therefore forcing Febrin away from the split push here and into team fights. Him. Gonna spot that one out, and he knows he's still in a bit of a trap, though. Rainover's thinking it over if he wants to go in level four to level six. Maybe not this the best place. Player. Wait a minute, what's going on? There was no Huni support, and that's first blood to Oda Wamne. Very greedy here, level four for Rainover against the level six Aurelia, and of course, Huni caught on the other side of the tower here. In the thick of things as long as possible. And it's, it's hard to say anything is meta or not, but oh my goodness, here we go. Odoamne and Huni, oh, 2v1 Lulix. They're gonna secure it, and that is Huni going down. Odoamne 2-0. Nice little setup here, and again, the maxi on Aurelia allows you to set up these gangs. If Lulix comes to there as well, he should end up dying. Making sure that there's no vision there, and you just really never know where Yellow Star is gonna be. Rum, here we go. Ryu smited down by Rain Rainover as well. But they're gonna have to back off because Odoame is teleporting on in and they do not want to deal with him. Oh, look at that damage already. Transcendent Blades, he's gonna go for it. Flashes back out. Here we go, Rain over, and he's gonna pick the kill after the Ragnarok. Odoame is down, and another teleport coming in. They found Lulix, a Tibbers. They're going to jump on him, but he's gonna jump on his deal back, and he just blew him right up. That's, That's right. gonna open a dragon up for Fnatic, and just like that, they've blown this game open. Odoame here, even though he got the two early kills, he goes way too aggressive in the mid lane. He's trying to kill Febivan ends up dying for it, and then suddenly teleport coming in from Huni picks or maybe use. Oh, and the Anna Sibold, he's straight yeah. on Yellow Star. Immediately trying to jump on him. Rainover's here, the Timbers is down. However, Yellow Star is gonna melt. Yarn and picks this one up, but Vivid trying to provide some backup. But Ryu is the one that goes down. Voidal now, extremely low. It's a double kill. Going over to Huni and Steelbacks coming in from the back, trying to join the party, and he blows up Yarn. And now H2K are just starting to melt, but can they pick up more? Not for Vivid. Oda Wamne says, no, thank you very much. And it's a two for four. And again, H2K starting the fight here. They engage onto Yellow Star, pop everything to kill the support about how uh, the shot caller sometimes can get frustrated when they're the ones that get picked off first but at that point it's just easier you're not having to control the champion anymore yeah oh, hold there, there we go they're gonna try to jump on him death mark is down and his health bar oh. is going all the way down to zero Be two games in yeah, definitely uh, can't take too much from it, but here we go. Odoamne gonna bait the death mark out of Fabivin, who's gonna back away from this one on the hunt now. Pop looking for rain over, but still extremely dangerous to try and jump on an all teleport coming oh, in. Odoamne, oh, huge timber stun, and that is gonna be Fnatic getting the turnaround. Huni, unstoppable. They're looking for Voidal. They should be able to find him, and this tower should be going down as well. Massive play from Fnatic, two kills to none. And again, every single time we have a fight, everyone from Fnatic is moving before it even starts. Re every Everybody, though, is lending a helping hand here. Kill participation isn't too bad on the board. The Vivian may not have any kills, but seven assists with no deaths isn't too bad either. Oh, going in once again for H2K. Yep, the exhaust is down for Vivian. They're going to try to run out. Here we go. Voidal going to check onto for Vivian. Here we go. They're going to try to turn it around. Oh, oh, Rainover. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Death Mark on the Voidal. Rainover coming up with a kill on Yarnin. And everyone from H2K is scattered. Huni joining the fight. Lulex, invisible, might just be able to get away. Sneaking just away. barely. But they lose two members. And why is H2K keep trying to force these? And again, is why his backfire is so hard for H2K. They're trying once again on yeah, the They're getting the chilling smite down. Lulix, they want this fight, but he's gonna death mark away from the solar flare. They still pop him down. They he may pay for this in. one, but H2K are gonna dedicate to killing Yellow Star. All that's down. They get a double kill going over to steal back. However, this is just kind of going a little back and forth. It's a two for three, and Fnatic still comes out ahead. An insane amount of damage. Look at this one going down pretty quickly. 27 and a half minutes. That's H2K, gone. they that's have gone. to know something's up, but they're not gonna get there in any time at all. And a Baron snuck away by Fnatic. Yeah, plus one of the lot wards because they're getting so much gold from these kills here from the fight. They want out. more. Engage as well. They're gonna run hard. And where did his health bar go? And he gets his spell shield out too late. Timber's going down. They're gonna solar flare to try and get away from this one, but they just don't have the retreat. Lulex taken down by Steelback, and they have to get away from this one, losing a member, and they might lose a turret here too. Well, let's see if they can actually defend. Still four guys left from H2K. They're back in the base healing here, and Fnatic has no minions at all. Whoa, Voidal. Voidal gonna jump in. Woo, yeah. that was not recommended. Fabivin nope. coming up with his kill there, and it's going to be another one. Huni flashing forward. The laser oh, oh, nearly yeah. finishes him off, but the Zanyas will keep him alive, and they're gonna be able to back away if Odoamne can't catch him, and it looks like he won't. This pretty sharp for Fnatic. Whole team starting to look pretty sharp there. Another dragon picked up three to zero, and that movement speed is gonna make them even slipperier. Yeah, and they really just 
we're seeing this happen over and over again, that they can just start chasing down H2K. And now Fnatic are the ones pushing on in. Rain over. Bro, Masia, let's take down some inhibitors. They're going to jump right on for it, and H2K just has no way to stop them. They give it up for free. Well, things up in there. It's living dangerously. Oh, maybe oh, not. Oh, all of a sudden, hey, there's three members right behind you. Spell shield's down. Maybe they can get the oh. chase burn. Both of his summer spells, but they're still at Timbers, and I think they're going to find him. Rainover says, no, you don't. Another pickup, and Fabivin says, hey, guys, I'm here. Be sure to follow. H2K is just not even trying to defend their base. And Oruam is sitting down here with the Super Minions. Here we go. They've got a normal wave coming on in, and they're going to start pushing in on it. Oh, Oidal, he's going to get a big solar flare. This is they what they have to do to try and save a life. Lulex, Huni going to pick up a kill, though, and there is Lulex going down. Fabivin picking up the kill, and just like that, they get two for none. Barely scratched, but for steel back. And there's a tower going down here. Should be an inhibitor. How much can Fnatic grab off of this? No, they don't want the inhibitor. They're going for game. Here we go, push pushing down it down. Goes. They're going to be able to take him down. The super minions are just way too strong here. H2K offering absolutely no resistance. And 33 and a half in, GG Fnatic is 2-0. Man, this team looks absolutely fantastic in their teamwork, shot calling. The mechanics from the players, I mean, Huni on his rumble here, perfect ulties. They just waited until the time was right, and then they struck. They were basically just waiting for H2K to make the plays and just disengage, then counter-engage, take the fight every single time. And really, H2K, I mean, didn't really have much they could do in this game. From the last the first few fights, then it was basically over for them. Yeah, it was a really tough position to be in. They had a fantastic kick and ban phase. They knew what they wanted to do. They just simply couldn't execute it. And this band of newcomers, led by Yellowstar, have just absolutely made a statement here. And that is their massive fan base. Very, very happy to see that Fnatic's still very much in top form.